Hi everyone, this is Mitch from the Warren County Public Library. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a few different things on our website. Uh, if you go to our website, it's going to be warrenpl.org, and then you should see this, which is the homepage. From here, uh, we're going to look at how to get a library card first. So if you click on Use in the Library or hover over it, this drop down menu will appear, and just go ahead and click on Library Services. So if you scroll down, the first section here is get a library card. So you can get a full service library card or you can get a digital services library card. To get a full service library card, you have to be 18 or older and have a government issued ID, like a state ID or a driver's license. Or if you're 17 and under, your adult, your parent, your guardian, they have to be the ones that come in and get you a library card. But anyone can sign up for a digital services library card. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And a digital services library card gives you access to all of our digital services, like our eBooks, our e-audiobooks, music, magazines, TV, comics, lots of different things that you can check out without having to actually come into the library. So if you would like to get one of those cards, what you would do is you would go ahead and just fill out this form with all your information. You would click submit and then a librarian will process that and we'll get back to you in a few days. Um, if there's a lot, sometimes it can take a week, but we do our best to get them all to you quickly. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to use our catalog. So we're back on the homepage here, and again, we're gonna use the click or you can hover over and we're gonna click on online catalog. So if you had a full service library card, what you could do is you could log into your account, but we're gonna click on view catalog. So what's gonna come up is a way for you to do a quick search in the catalog, but I'll also tell you about these three carousels here. So this top one here is gonna be on order items. These are items that we have bought, but they haven't arrived yet, but you can go ahead and get in line to check them out. Below that is gonna be new books. So most of these are probably gonna be checked out already, but they could be sitting on the shelf. So you could go ahead and put a hold on them, and even if they're checked out, you could go ahead and place a hold on them, and that way you could get in line. And then the last one down here is gonna be new videos. So the same thing is this middle one here. These are gonna be things that we've recently purchased, and they could be checked out, or they could be sitting on the shelf. So we're gonna go up here to the top, to the library search, and I'm gonna type in just a quick, easy search. So I'm going to search for Spider-Man, and in our catalog, we have 441 things that are either directly Spider-Man or related to Spider-Man. I'm just going to highlight a few of the different ways that you can browse the catalog. So if you look at this one, it tells you the title up here. Um, you can look at this icon here and see what it is. It is a book. It came out in 2017, and it is a young adult book based on the call number here. I can also see that based on this, we have one copy available. So if I click on availability, it's going to show that we have one copy checked in currently at the Bob Kirby branch. And if I scroll down, you can see the title of this one here. It's also a book. It came out in 2016. But then if you look at this one, this one's a little bit different. This has a computer icon rather than a cover or anything like that. And then the call number down here says e comma Coupla. So what this is, this is a digital comic that you could check out. And the way you would do that is you would click this right here, this web link. So then the title you can see up here on Hoopla. And then down here gives a description of it. And you could click the borrow button. Um, if you already have a Hoopla account, it would go ahead and check out automatically to you. If you don't, it would then prompt you to set one up with your library card. Okay, so now we're back on the home page, and now I'm gonna show you how to use our events calendar. So up here at the top, you're gonna to click on events or hover over it, and we're just gonna to go to the all events page. So from here, if you scroll down, you can see traditional calendar that's got all of the events listed. You can also go up here and change it to agenda view, which is gonna be a list. You can also change it to a pin board view, which is gonna be more visual. I prefer the monthly, so this is what we're gonna look at here. 
And then up here at the top, you can also filter by these different categories. So we have kids events, we have author events, we have offsite events, we have clubs and groups, adult and teen. So we're gonna scroll down and look at this story time. So once the events page loads, you can see the title up here. You can see when it took place and at what time. And then over here, it's gonna tell you about the event and sometimes this will be in a series or it's going to be happening again. So this was actually the last in this series. And you can see that the other dates were listed here. Because this was on Zoom, there is a link here that you would have clicked. And there was the meeting ID as well as a password. And let's say you live by the Bob Kirby branch. So you only want to see what events take place at that location. So we're going to go to the locations tab up here and I'm going to click on Bob Kirby. So right now, nothing is going on at the Bob Kirby branch because none of our events are taking place in the building. But if you go back to, say, February, you can see when we had events in-house. So if you click on an event, so like this was creating with the Carvey on Monday, February 3rd from 6 to 7. So the important thing to know about this one is that it required registration. Uh, the other thing about this one was it was for ages 13 and up and then you would need to register. So you would click this link and you would need to sign up for it. And that's everything for this video. I'm Mitch from the Warren County Public Library. Thanks for watching.